We are on SmackDown after SummerSlam. Montez Ford and Angelo Dawkins have been separated in a snap draft that was conducted on Raw. Angelo is now on the red brand and he's off to a great start. He won his first solo match right away. But Montez can't worry about that. He has a goal. He wants the Intercontinental Championship. But as Montez would find out, there's one huge problem with wanting that title. It's around the waist of Gunther. But it isn't Gunther who confronts Montez initially, no. It's Ludwig Kaiser. He laughs at Montez. He says you must be crazy to think you are even remotely worthy of challenging the ring, Yenirab. You'll have to prove yourself far more than just these fans and these people telling you you have potential. Talk to us when you're actually ready. Montez doesn't say anything. Instead, he lets his actions do the talking in his scheduled match for the night against Shinsuke Nakamura. He picks up the big win over the former WWE Champion, and he couldn't be off to a better start. But the celebration is cut short. Kaiser with the cheap shot, and he beats down Montez while Gunther watches on from afar. Ford is finding out the hard way that life on your own in the WWE isn't always easy. This would only continue as well. Montez has just had another tough win the next week over a seasoned competitor in Sheamus. But again, Kaiser would come in for the cheap shot. He downs Ford again, and instead of watching on for a distance this time, Gunther steps in. He tells Kaiser to step aside, and he picks up Ford. Ford, for the second week in a row, is beaten down by the clearly threatened duo. But it wouldn't stop him. He fronts up the next week, and he is fighting on. This competition is tougher. He's taking on Drew McIntyre. And McIntyre, like everyone else, is struggling to deal with Ford's offense. He's hitting him from all angles with everything. But this time, not after the match, during the match, Kaiser is here again. Montez doesn't seem to have noticed him, or so we thought. Montez knew he was there. He gets a small amount of revenge. He slides back in the ring. McIntyre's waiting though. He looks for a Claymore, but Ford gets out of the way. He nails a face buster, heads to the top, and nails a massive frog splash, and he picks up a huge win. Ford is on a roll, but again, the celebration doesn't last long. Kaiser is back in the ring. He goes after Ford again. Gunther's watching on from the ramp. Ford counters though. Ford drops Kaiser and lands a frog splash on him as well. Ford is fired up. He looks down the ramp at Gunther and he says, I want the smoke. Gunther is unmoved. He just stares at Ford. Ford then says, you want me to prove that I'm worthy? Give me a match with your boy and I'll demolish him. And then it's on to you, big man. Gunther turns and walks away. And maybe Ford has gotten to the giant Austrian. Time will only tell that, but we do, however, find out that Gunther agrees. He puts Kaiser up against Ford the next week on SmackDown, and this is a physical battle. You can feel the hatred. After weeks of torment and sneak attacks, Ford is finally getting his hands on him, but Kaiser is good. He's tough, and he has Montez in real trouble, but Ford knows he needs to fight. He knows this is his chance. He builds momentum, and he nails a signature dive to the outside, but Ford lands awkwardly. Kaiser is hurt, Ford is down, and both men get counted out. It's a draw. Right after the bell rings, Gunther storms out. He throws Kaiser to the side, and he laces Ford with a lariat. Kaiser's looking on, almost terrified. He couldn't quite get the job done, and Gunther isn't happy. Gunther stares at Ludwig, and he says, Clash at the castle. You end this, you end him. You have one more chance. 
Gunther is pissed. He storms off, and Ludwig Kaiser has been given orders to finish off Ford before he can even get to Gunther. And he's been given Clash at the Castle to do it. The match is even more physical than the previous one. Ford has learned from his mistakes though. He flies over the top rope again, and he lands this one perfectly. He throws Kaiser in the ring. He's looking for the frog splash, but no, Kaiser gets the knees up. He locks up Ford, and he nails him with a regal plex. One, two, no. Ford shows the heart and kicks out. Kaiser is frustrated, but not only that, he doesn't want to anger Gunther. He loads him up on the top rope. He's going high rent district to try and put Ford away. But Ford counters. Kaiser is sent crashing to the mat. Ford has his chance. He nails a giant frog splash for the giant win. Ford's done it. He finally gets the better of Kaiser, but that's the least of his worries now. Gunther storms to the ring. He smashes Kaiser with a lariat immediately. Ford is shocked. Gunther throws Kaiser out of the ring and stares down with Ford. And the question remains, are we now on our way to a huge match for that Intercontinental Championship after all? Montez Ford opens the very next episode of SmackDown. He says he looked into the eyes of Gunther and he believes he can beat him. He believes that he can do the impossible and take that title from him. And that immediately prompts a furious Gunther to come out. He's seen enough. Gunther gets in the ring. He's holding his Intercontinental Championship. He doesn't even say anything. He just lays it down in front of Ford and then he calls him on. Are they really gonna go? Are we really going to do this right now? Are they really going to fight for the title right here, right now? Ford says, let's do this. I want all the smoke. And he takes off his shirt and he's ready to fight. Gunther has his gear under his tracksuit and he's ready to fight as well. But as Ford's readying up, Gunther attacks. He lands a massive drop kick. He never wanted a match. He just wanted another chance to get a cheap shot. And he beats away on Ford before the match can even start taking him to the outside, and he nails him with a powerbomb onto the LED ring post. Ford is downed again. Gunther says to him, you haven't earned it yet. Gunther picks up his title and leaves Ford in a heap on the ground and in a heap of trouble in general. But as usual, Ford won't lie down. He's back the next week, and he has a chip on his shoulder this time. He has had enough. And Gunther is in a match and Ford sprints down to the ring. He slides straight in the ring and starts brawling all over the ringside area. They fight all the way out into the crowd and Ford is throwing everything at Gunther. He's hitting him with anything he can get his hands on. Eventually, the brawl comes to an abrupt end and Gunther gets distance on him and power bombs him three times on the concrete. Ford is finding it impossible to keep Gunther down. It seems like a hopeless cause, but again, this guy, he just won't give up. And he would finally get what he wants. He's gotten under the skin of the Intercontinental Champion enough that he gives him a title match. And he gives it to him for later in the night. And it's made official for the main event. And the time arrives for Ford. He's scratched and clawed for this chance, but he's banged up, he's taped up, but he's still wants the smoke. He rushes Gunther right out of the gate and he gets the jump on him, giving him everything he's got, but straight away, Gunther pushes him off, lines him up and boom! Nails him with a lariat, picks him up, locks in a rear naked choke and unbelievably, Ford is out straight away. Montez has been put down by the giant Austrian. It's a reality check for Montez. Gunther looks down at Ford, he just scoffs, and then he walks away. Ford then struggles to his feet as Gunther's walking off. 
Ford yells out to him. You think this will stop me? Gunther stops. He turns around. And Ford lets him know exactly what he's thinking with a hand gesture. Gunther throws his title down and he starts running towards Ford. Gunther looks for another lariat, but Ford avoids. He knocks him down and starts laying in punches. He really has absolutely no quit in him. He even grabs the title and smashes it into Gunther's face and bloodies him up. And that flips him over the edge. Gunther snaps. He nails the biggest lariat yet on Ford. Gunther, with a crimson mask, looks down at Ford yet again. And this time he says, extreme rules. All or nothing. I'm going to finish you. You've got one final chance. We are now just one week out from Extreme Rules and Ford has been given the night off from in-ring action to rest up his injuries ahead of the massive title match. We do, however, have a special split-screen interview with both competitors. They've been kept apart to preserve this ginormous match and the first question goes to Montez and they ask a very simple one. What does this mean to you? Ford says everything. It means everything. For years I've been a tag team guy and I had the best time alongside my best friend Angelo but now that we can't do that, I want this more than anything. And that guy on the other side of the screen is the only thing stopping me. Gunther cuts him off and he says, I'm the only thing stopping you. You're talking about me like I'm not a threat, like I'm some kind of speed bump. You say this like you have a chance. Well, I'm not interested in talking anymore. I'll see you in Extreme Rules, where the result will be the same as it's always been. Gunther storms out of the interview and Montez has the final word. He says, the only way I don't beat him if my heart isn't beating. I'm walking into Extreme Rules, the underdog, but I'm walking out the Intercontinental Champion because I want the smoke. We've finally arrived at Extreme Rules and Montez is on the verge of a second chance at the Intercontinental Championship. But first, he's backstage watching his Street Profits brother, Angelo, challenge for and win the US Championship from Bobby Lashley. Montez is fired up for his best friend. He runs to Gorilla to congratulate him. And Angelo says, this is only half the job done. Now it's on you to finish it. Go and get the smoke. I'll have your back. The bell rings and again, Ford rushes Gunther. This is dangerous territory. This didn't work last time. And just like last time, Gunther pushes him away, gets separation and nails him with a lariat. And it's looking like exactly the same result. Gunther picks him up, the crowd can't believe it. He's looking for a power bomb to put him away. But Montez is ready, he rolls Gunther through. One, two, no! Gunther kicks out. And he's pissed off now. And as the match wears on, Ford just keeps hanging in there. He's showing guts and Gunther gets more and more angry and aggressive that he can't put Ford away. And that's when we see another appearance from Ludwig Kaiser. He's still desperate to impress Gunther. He's under the rule of Gunther and he wants to assist him. But we see brand new US champion, Angelo Dawkins, and he nails Kaiser with that very championship. Gunther's furious. He's standing on the apron, berating Kaiser. He turns around though. Montez is back up. He lands an insane apron DDT on Gunther. 
He sees his opportunity now. He goes to the top rope and he flies all the way from the top rope to the floor with a huge frog splash. He throws Gunther back in the ring. He knows he needs more. He goes to the top rope again. This is the one. He takes a moment to compose himself. Dawkins is cheering him on from the stage and Ford lands the second frog splash. has captured the Intercontinental Championship. He's arrived as a single star. He's joined in the ring by his best friend, Angelo Dawkins, who has also won his first singles belt. It's an emotional moment. They were forced apart, but now they stand together as champions in their own right. If you like this scenario, you should check this one out next.